everyone, I'm Harry, welcome to my channel, and today we're going to look at the True Spring Reverb Pedal from Source Audio. So before we get started, if you like this demo video at any point, please leave a like, comment and subscribe, and hit the little bell notification for me as well. It really does help me out a lot, and that way you won't be signing any of my future uploads. There's going to be affiliate links down in the description to every piece of gear I used in this video and to record my videos. These do help support the channel out further, so I'd really appreciate if you go and check them out. So the True Spring by Source Audio actually seeks capture spring reverbs found in vintage Fender amps, as well as having some vintage style tremolos built into it as well. Now I've tried a lot of different spring reverb pedals and I've always been kind of spoiled because I played my old twin reverb for many years and I'm a big fan of real analog spring reverb tanks either built into amps or separate units and I've got to say the true spring by Source Audio is definitely the closest to those that I've ever played. It's definitely become my favorite digital emulation of a spring reverb. So like I said they're actually seeking to capture a few different types of spring reverb as well as having some classic vintage Fender tremolos a lot of sounds in there as well. So the short spring algorithm is modeled after a classic blackface Fender amp from the 60s, the spring reverb that you'd hear in them as well. So probably the most known spring reverb to most people. The long spring is a little bit different and produces long and deep reverb decays with noticeable drip and highly animated trails, which is modeled after some of the more lively tanks found in some vintage amps. And then finally, we have the tank algorithm, which is modeled after the outboard spring reverb tanks, like the standalone Fender 6G15 spring reverb unit which has lots of drippy attack and animated trails and is one of the most noticeable and classic examples of a true spring reverb and like i said we've also got secondary functions to access tremolo built in as well so we have an opto tremolo which is like the classic photo cell that we find in old fender amps which is quite a choppy sounding tremolo then we have harmonic tremolo which was found in more brown face fender amps it's definitely one of my favorite types of tremolo and then we have bias tremolo which is actually produced by modulating the bias voltage to the power tubes in these old amps so you're literally turning the volume of the amp up and down through the power section, which results in a smooth amplitude and mild overdrive created by this tube saturation. So we have a couple of different controls on the front of the pedal. We have a level, which is the overall output. Unity is at around 12 o'clock and then fully clockwise boost the dry signal by roughly 6 dB. We have a dwell control that controls the level of the dry signal hitting the spring reverb tank. Turning up adds a more overdriven and animated quality to the wet signal. Then we have a tone control and the mix control. Around 12 is 50-50 and then you can go from there. Then we have a three-way toggle switch. This lets us go from the short to the long and to the tank reverbs. Now, like I said, there's also a tremolo built into this. So on the top of the pedal, there's a control button. If you hold down this, it'll actually access secondary controls where you can actually control the tremolo. So the dwell turns into the depth and the tone control turns into the rate. And then if the toggle switch is in the short, it's the opto trim. If it's in the long, it's the harmonic trim. And if it's in the tank position, then it's the bias trim. So you can either control the pedal by expression via the input on the top, or you can plug in Source Audio's tap fit switch that allows you to either set it to have a tap tempo for the tremolo or you can use it as a tremolo on and off which is what i'm doing in this video some of the other features we have two modes of operation standard stomp box style mode or presets modes we have flexible stereo routing so stereo to stereo mono to mono mono to stereo stereo sum to mono and external loop mode we have buffered bypass or true bypass and of course you either have the expression control or the tap tempo with subdivisions or disengage and engage the tremolo with the external tap of course being source audio we also have the new rider so that really allows us to deep dive into the pedal. You can access interchangeable algorithms, upload any of the additional reverb or tremolo effects directly to the pedal at no extra charge. You can customize the effects, including parameters for EQ, pre-delay, diffusion, reverb modulation, spring length, and more. You can save and share presets, download presets. Of course, you've got signal routing options and MIDI is available when coupled with their Neuro Hub. So we're gonna check out the pedal pretty much how it comes. We're not really gonna look at the Neuro Editor, but you can do all those extra things if you really wanna deep dive, but we're gonna kind of treat it like a classic stomp box look at the reverb and the different tremolos. So the guitar I'm using today is my Matt Mull S-Classic, which is one of my favorite vintage style strats. I was running into my Hampstead RT60 Plus RT, which is one of my favorite clean pedal platform amps. Then running into the Tone King Ironman 2 Attenuated, just to knock off a few dBs. Then into Celestian G12M 65 Creamback Speaker that's been recorded by Lewitt MTP 440 Dynamic Microphone, which is like an SM57 with a tiny bit more bass. So the Matt Mull S-Classic, straight into the amp, sounds like this. <laughs> Thank you. 
So there we have it. That was a look at the true spring from Source Audio. For me, definitely the best digital modeled spring reverb pedal that I've ever tried, and I've played a ton of them by now. Like I said, I've been spoiled by using my old twin reverb for years and being a big fan of real spring reverbs in amps. Having the mix level dwell and time control on the front is really killer, as well as having the option to go from a short to a long to a tank reverb. And of course, you've got the killer vintage style tremolos in there as well. We've got the photo cell, the harmonic trem, and the bias trem, giving us all those vintage Fender amp effect tones in a pedal and they really do a killer job of replicating these. Of course, you've got the other features like the stereo ins and outs, you've got the expression control or tap tempo for the tremolo or tremolo on and off. You've got the neuro editor where you can change the parameters for EQ, pre-delay, diffusion, reverb modulation, spring length and more, presets, MIDI capability with the neuro hub and so much more. This is really a killer unit. Even if you were just using it like I did in this demo as a standalone stamp box, which is how I personally use it, it's really killer. But then if you want to go in and tweak things even more to get your own character for the spring reverb sounds then you can do that with the neuro editor as well but let me know down in the comments what you thought of the true spring by source audio and if you're going to pick one up yourself again there's going to be affiliate links down in the description to the true spring and all the gear i used in this video and to record my videos these do help support the channel out further so i really appreciate going to check them out if you did like this demo video please leave a like comment and subscribe and hit the little bell notification for me as well it really does help me out a lot and that way you won't miss out in my future uploads other than that go onto my channel check out some of my playlists i've any more lessons, covers, gear demos, how to sound like videos, and anything guitar related. As always, I've been Harry, and thanks for watching.